Hi everyone. Summer vacations have started and so is the challenge before parents to keep the kids busy. What can be better than doing an easy and fun craft with them? Today we'll do rock painting. You can buy such rocks from the craft store and turn them into a work of art. This was done by a child and I did this some years ago. I even picked up some rocks from the roadside and turned them into bugs. So today we'll do some easy craft with you. Let's start. So I'm going to be doing the voiceover. So we're going to start off by taking a black rock and using Liquitex or acrylic black paint to prime it. And then the materials we're going to need are a plate, acrylic paint, or paint that sticks to rocks. You can use rock paint as well. And then you're going to need some brushes, permanent markers, Q-tips. And then the last thing you're going to need is a paper towel or a spare rag, or you can use an old t-shirt, some water. And then you're going to start off by taking a little bit of red acrylic paint and just starting off by painting the rock. You're going to have to leave some space for the eyes, so don't paint all of it, only about two-thirds. So you should paint all of that and then you'll be done with the first coat, but you're going to need a couple of coats, so you should start doing the second coat. And then you should probably just wipe your brushes off after you're using done using them or just like, you know, kind of wipe them for the next color so they don't mix. And then we're just going to go in with a clean brush with black and then refine the border between the red and black paint. You know, just to make it nice and clean. And here is the second coat. And then you're just going to take some black acrylic paint with a slightly smaller brush and draw a vertical line down the middle of it. And you should probably try and make it as straight as possible. Once you're done with that, you're going to take a Q-tip and take off some of the fluff of it. And then once you're done taking off the fluff, you're going to take the acrylic paint and dip it in there and then draw small dots on either side of the ladybug's wings. And now, once you're done drawing the spots for the ladybug, you're going to want to take the back of any brush you have, dip it in white paint, and draw two eyes. This one is pretty easy. You just need to tap it on there and it'll be done. And then we made a little bit of a mistake here, but you know, that's fine. Everyone makes mistakes. We can always fix it. Okay, so the next part is to take a Q-tip once the white part is dry and dip it in black acrylic paint and draw two eyes on there. Just the little pupils. <laughs> 
And yeah, that's the final product for the paint, but this part is completely optional. You can take some Mod Podge and just paint it on there. If you don't have it, it's completely fine. And Mod Podge goes on white and dries clear, so it'll give like a nice varnish to it. So then it'll look nice and glossy. And yeah, that's basically it. Wasn't it easy and fun? I enjoyed it. Parents, grandparents, kids, all can do it together. This is our final product. I repainted the eyes by dipping this, the back of this pencil in white paint and two dots for the eyes. If you like today's video, you can press like, share and subscribe and also write your comments. If there is any mistake, we can always correct it by using the wet cloth, removing the mistake and repainting it. Enjoy. See you again. Bye for now.